It's November 2024, and you're traveling by train, far below the bottom of the Fraser River, 50 meters below the river's surface, to be exact. You're partway between New Westminster and Surrey. This is the new Anasis Water Supply Tunnel, which is now under construction. The concrete rings surrounding you are put in place by a tunnel boring machine. Right now, the tunnel is about halfway finished, and the train you're riding is what takes workers and equipment to the machine. It's a seven minute ride at this stage of construction. The yellow tube running along the ceiling supplies fresh air to the workers. You are now approaching the back of the tunnel boring machine, which digs the 2.3 kilometer long route and constructs the tunnel lining as it goes. Here at the front of the tunnel boring machine, it's a bit like a submarine, as there isn't a lot of room to move around. The machine is assembling one of the concrete rings that makes up the tunnel. Each ring consists of six segments precisely made to order in Nanaimo, British Columbia, Canada. And each segment weighs 1,400 kilograms. As the segment lifts into place, a worker holds out a folding ruler to check the alignment. After each ring is complete, the tunnel boring machine digs a little further through the earth to make room for the next ring to be installed. For 10 hours a day, Phil Birch operates the machine as it mines through the earth. He controls the speed and rotation of the cutter head, which is the front part of the machine that does the digging. He also controls the dirt's consistency in order to make it softer and easier to dig out. He does this by injecting foam, very similar to shaving cream, into the earth in front of the cutter head. Phil's a veteran of subterranean work, having built tunnels in 22 countries with his trusty coffee maker safely stored beside his right knee. I've been working underground now about 44 years. It's just so interesting all the different ground you have to go through and the changes you make just as you're mining along. The things that you do, the adjustments, you're never bored. Up above, crew members make sure their underground colleagues have what they need to keep tunneling. The only access to the Anasis water supply tunnel is via this 50 meter deep shaft. Workers use an elevator attached to the shaft wall to get in and out. Materials such as these ring segments have to be carefully lowered down. The ring segments will be loaded onto the train and transported to the tunnel boring machine. All of this demanding, meticulous work will pay off in a few years when the Anasis Water Supply Tunnel begins delivering drinking water to the region's growing population south of the Fraser River. <laughs>